My name is uh, Lord Newby uh, and I'm a Liberal Democrat member of the House of Lords. I uh, speak for the party on the economy. So that means whenever there's a discussion in the House of Lords about the economy or banks uh, or trade, um, I tend to have to uh, explain what our policy is uh, and ask questions of the government about it. If, if anybody had said to me, aged 16 or 18, um, that I'd be doing what I'd be doing now, I would have just laughed at them. And at no point in my life uh, could you have predicted, really, what, I, what was going to happen next. I grew up in Rothwell, which is halfway between Leeds and Wakefield in West Yorkshire. Uh, and my family, going back a couple of generations, were quarrymen and miners. Uh, my dad uh, was a, uh, an official in the Yorkshire Electricity Board all his life and was a frustrated musician. My main hobby as a boy uh, was playing in a brass band. And I can remember very much weekends spent with the brass band going round, playing either at concerts or playing at contests, because brass banding in West Yorkshire is very, very competitive. It was a relatively small school. Uh, I was never any good at sport, which was a bit of a downside. Cricket was part of my life, um, without myself ever actually being very good at it. I started off not doing very well, um, and uh, I did particularly badly at English. And I had an English teacher who one day got really fed up with me and basically said, this last piece of work is hopeless and you can just do a lot better than that and gave me some advice about how to do it. And it was, that was a penny dropping in my mind, I think. Uh, and I started doing better at English, uh, but better at everything else. And I ended up doing reasonably well. I hadn't the faintest clue which university to go to or really what I wanted to do. Uh, and I put down uh, as my top preference that I was going to go to Lancaster University to do an accountancy course because that was sort of voca semi-vocational and very safe. Uh, and the second English teacher said, why don't you apply to Oxford? Well, I never thought of applying to Oxford because it was sort of not the kind of thing that you did from the, this little school. Anyway, I did apply to Oxford, much to the headmaster's irritation. Couldn't see, he couldn't see any point in this at all. Total waste of time. Uh, and to my amazement, I got in. Well, contrary to today, the trendy thing to do, the high status thing to do uh, in 1974 was to go and work in the civil service. Uh, and a lot of my friends and I applied to go and work in the civil service, uh, and that's where I ended up. And I got placed in customs and excise, which was part of the treasury. Uh, and I was pretty fed up because I thought it would be, you know, it was a low status department uh, and uh, not what I'd really expected. I'd worked for the Liberal Democrats and Paddy Ashdown in a voluntary capacity during his time as leader. Uh, and before that, I'd been chief executive of the Social Democratic Party, uh, which helped form the uh, Liberal Democrats with the Liberal Party. Uh, and I'd been very much involved in putting the two parties together. A number of MPs were leaving the Labour Party to join the Social Democratic Party or to form the Social Democrats, uh, some of whom I knew. Uh, and it was one of those moments I just thought, I can't sit here when there's this new uh, potential for change in British politics that I do believe in. I applied, I got the job, and I left the civil service. So what I do now um, is I advise people in the general area of what's called corporate responsibility, which is how companies are good corporate citizens. And I specialise in putting together partnerships between the private sector and charities uh, and the public sector. The work we're doing abroad is around using sport as a tool for education and development. I've been working in this area in the UK uh, for 12 years with the Princess Trust uh, and working with the professional football, cricket and rugby clubs to use the power of sport to motivate children who are not doing very well at school.